Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to introduce our final leader of the evening, Ambassador Milan Verville. It looks like I have the benediction tonight. I want to start my prayer uh, in gratitude to Lisa because she has been the global ambassador for women's issues at Bloomberg. And I know firsthand what a difference she has made. And I want to thank eWomen's News because if it hadn't been invented, it would have to be invented. Uh, it's been visionary and necessary and makes a difference for all of the issues that have been discussed here tonight. Let me just say that all around this globe, girls and women are on the front lines of change. All of you are on the front lines of change. You have one giant imprint that you make in so many different ways to make that huge difference. All the tough challenges that you're trying to impact in the ways that we've heard tonight. And there are so many other millions of women and girls who are trying to make that kind of difference as well. One who has become very famous, Malala, was a girl in Pakistan who almost lost her life just because she believed girls had a right to go to school. And she almost paid the ultimate price but in the process, she's taught our world a great lesson about how difficult it is to win these rights and to ensure that they are there. And we, as we embark now on the 20th anniversary of that fourth UN conference on women, and I still hear those words that reverberated around the world when Hillary Clinton said, women's rights are human rights, and human rights are women's rights. And while they are now chiseled in international law, they are yet to be fully realized in the lives of women and girls the world over. And that continues to be our job, continues to be our challenge, because the work is not fully done. We just think about those 276 girls who were kidnapped in Nigeria by the Boko Haram who are proudly threatening to sell them to be slaves. There are so many other horrors that are perpetrated. There is so much more that needs to be done in all the areas in which you are working but also take pride in the fact that so much has been achieved. And as we do, let's remember all that the great imperative of the 21st century remains gender equality. It matters for women and girls, but it matters for the world. So this is my prayer, amen.